the yin practice where we focus on slowing down, drawing inwards and downwards, relaxing, restoring, and just being, just being. So how we start is coming onto the ground. And let's start even from here, starting to slow down. So rolling down onto the back. Just noticing your back along the floor, your spine along the floor. Really lengthen the spine here. Tuck the chin slightly and just feel your shoulders against the floor. Draw the knees in. Hold on to the knees or just slightly under on the shins. I'm just going to make some really small circles here with the knees. Just massaging the lower back. Noticing any clicks, clunks. Really getting into the lower back here and beginning to notice our breath. So start circling the knees the other way and inhale as you circle the knees out to the side and exhale as you bring the knees back in. So we're kind of squeezing the air out. Inhale, circle. Exhale. Rather than squeezing, maybe just noticing that they drop inwards. Inhale. Exhale, starting to really connect with the breath. Breathing in and out of the nose if that's easy for you. Or exhaling at the mouth, just letting it all go as we massage the lower back. And notice our whole upper back being supported by the earth from the tailbone all the way up through our shoulders and back of the head. In this practice, feel free to close the eyes whenever you like. We're not striving for anything in particular. We're just really being receptive and just noticing our body, just being with our body in a really non-judgmental, just a really gentle awareness of our body and our connection to our breath. So coming the knees into the center, simply dropping the knees out to the side. So my knees don't touch the floor, so I'm actually gonna bring some supports to help me. So I have a block and I have a bolster for later on. So dropping the knees to the side, I'm going to put the block underneath and I'm even putting a block in between my knees just to really support support myself here. And just breathing into this twist for a moment here, letting the knees melt down, our muscles soften. Just noticing this twist along the spine. If it feels nice, maybe just drop your head slightly to the opposite side. Remove any props if you had them, and coming over to the other side. So just being mindful of our transitions here, just making the transition itself feel super nice as you go to the other side, fixing any pillows or blocks where you need support. So we can really start to let our muscles just relax and not hold on. that they can really feel like they can let go in our poses. Just noticing the slight twist along the spine, the hips. As you travel up the spine, maybe letting your head fall to the opposite side. Let's begin to really deepen our breath here. Taking a full inhale in through the nose, we start to deepen and lengthen the exhale. A 
I'm just repeating this. So inhale, but the focus is on a slow and deep exhale. And you might just naturally notice the body start to relax all by itself. Bits that you didn't even know you're holding on to start to soften and let go. The breath is an amazing tool to help us with our yin practice and becoming soft and slow and receptive. Remove any props and support and bring the knees back up to the centre. Draw the knees in and hold on to your shin just underneath the knee of the right leg. Extend and lengthen the left leg down along the floor so it's nice and stretched out long. Draw the right knee in. Allow the shoulders to sink back and down as our knee comes in towards underneath our armpit. You can come to the side of the ribs for more space, maybe just moving it around a little. There's really no right or wrong. Yin, I like to think about, is just being. So we're just being with our body and we're just tuning in. We're drawing inwards and just noticing what we need at the time. So with this knee now, we're going to draw it across the body towards the left. Just another twist again, if you want to support that knee if it doesn't quite reach the ground. Find a pillow or a block to help you support that knee. You can even bring the knee up a little higher so that twist starts to travel up the spine and our shoulder is dropping to the ground. It doesn't matter if it makes it. Just seeing where the body's at. Draw the knee back into the center. Maybe one more gentle squeeze. Exhale, blow it out the mouth. Draw the left knee in. Hold onto the shin underneath the knee and extend the right leg along, along the ground. Lengthen it out. Should feel nice. Should feel a little bit more roomier in that leg now and in the hip. So let's draw that left knee up and into our armpit. You can take it out the side of the chest, side of the ribs to give even more space. Maybe just move it around in the hip joint, in the socket. Just really tuning into what feels right and what feels good for you at this moment. It's what our body needs, not what our mind thinks we should be doing. And let's take the left knee across the body to the right side, bringing your support with you if you have a pillow or a block. And you're taking the left arm out and just moving that twist up the spine. Maybe dropping the head to the opposite side. And let's connect to our breath again. So on the inhale, through the nose. And exhale, either out the mouth for a deeper cleansing breath or out the nose. And notice, perhaps your body starts to relax and soften all by itself. Draw the knee back into the center. Remove any props. Let's move them out to the side. Coming into a full body stretch, so lengthen out that left leg. And before we do, just notice the legs and how they feel for a moment. The pause after the pose. Just noticing any sensations. Perhaps there's more space or room. Perhaps they feel longer and lengthened. 
Now taking the arms above the head, stretching them nice and long. But we're really just soft with any of our movement, movements that we do. Now just imagine that your left leg is being pulled down and your left arm is being pulled up. So really stretching the left side of the body, maybe even over to the side with the arm, if that feels nice. Stretching and then slowly let it sink back into place. Just let the whole body go, the, arm, the elbows may bend. Just noticing the difference between the sides. Let's try the right side as if someone has hold of your ankle and hold of your wrist and they're just gently stretching you up and out. And then on the exhale, just let yourself rebound gently back. And just, you're not trying to make any pose. You're just letting the limbs fall wherever they land. Let's do one side again. The left side, stretch. Move your limbs long ways. And on the out breath, oh, just feel them melt back into place. Let's try the right side again. Really lengthen from the ankle, from the wrist. And on the out breath, just let them rebound, melt back towards the body. Really mindfully moving on to our front now, onto the belly. Just taking your time with the transitions, coming onto the belly. Sphinx pose. So have the elbows down underneath the shoulders. Hands are nice and spread. There's space between the fingers. And just you might want to come down a little. Depends how your back's feeling today. Or you might bring them in closer. We're not chasing sensation. We're just bringing a little bit of sensation to that area we're just noticing how it is so find what feels good and we roll the shoulders back and we lengthen up through the sternum glide the chin as if you're going up a wall but then we're actually going to bring our chin towards the chest but we're not dumping into it so as if you have like a scarf or something you're going to go the chin around the scarf and draw the chin back towards the chest. And then just relax the body. Let the head be really heavy. Turning your gaze inwards. You can choose to keep the eyes open or closed here. And again, lengthening, deepening the exhale. The focus is on the exhalations. to come out, glide the chin as if it's going up a wall, big breath in, and then let's just come down, flatten before we go on to our next page, next pose, so just take the arms down beside you, palms can be facing up or down, and then just 
turn the head to To balance, let's take our head to the other. Hopefully and slowly again. Let's come up to cat cow, really slow cat cow. So we're on all fours, our knees are underneath the hips, our hands are underneath the shoulders with that space between the fingers, our feet, the tops of the feet along the earth and really slowly here from the tailbone as if there's a wave of water, drop the hips as if that wave is moving along the spine, dropping the belly and shining the chest and the sternum. The chin glides up the wall. And now let's reverse that way. So from the head, it's coming down and we're pushing into our hands, spreading the shoulder blades, drawing the belly up and gazing inward again. Really drawing the belly up and let's move with that wave from the tailbone that wave moves up along the spine dropping the belly really lengthening through the vertebrae shining the sternum chin glides up the wall and let the wave move back down so starting from the crown of the head Goes back behind the ears, down the back of the neck, past the shoulders, really curling upwards and inwards, creating space between the vertebrae, looking inwards towards the belly. Chin is going towards the chest, curling the pubic bone up and in, but the buttocks is relaxed and come into center. Gliding the right hand goes underneath the left, palm facing up and just glide it along the ground so you'll come to lying on the shoulder. Not pressing here, just being really gentle. And then let's stretch the top arm out. So you can either keep it here you're looking towards the hand and glide the hand up if you like to really stretch into the side as well as the shoulder that's on the ground and just letting the shoulder take the weight so letting your sit bones just be up in the air taking a few breaths here Deepening, lengthening the exhalations. If you had the arm outstretched, draw it back in near the face, press into that hand and come up. Take that right hand back underneath the shoulder, coming to the other side now. So turn the palm so it's facing up and glide it underneath the arm, slide it along the floor and come to rest on top of the shoulder, stretching into this shoulder blade and either keeping the right hand where it is or stretching it out. The top hand goes up above the head. 
just a little extra length. Head is turned towards the palm facing up. And just melt. Let the sit bones shine out. Deepening and lengthening the exhalations. If you have the hand outstretched, draw it back in in front of the face, press into the palm and come up. Sitting back into child's pose, you can have the big toes to touch and the knees nice and wide if you like. And also if you'd like, there's an option to bring a pillow or a bolster between the legs. We're really restoring yin <coughs> pose. We lengthen the upper body along the bolster, turn the head to one side and just nestle in here. Have the arms wherever it feels nice and just sink the lower back. So the tailbone as if it's curling between the feet here and sit back. Keep the head to one side and then we'll swap. Deepening, lengthening the exhalations here. Turning the head to the other side and nestling back down again into your support or if you're on the ground just sinking down, sinking, melting the hips down. Press into the hands and sit yourself back up. Remove, if you had a uh, cushion or a pillow, just moving it out to the side into a forward fold. So plant the hands, spread the fingers, come onto the toes and just lift your hips back up in the air. You can keep the knees really bent and just walk the feet towards the hands. Have the feet hip width or wider apart and really bend the knees and as if your upper body, your torso is a waterfall cascading over the legs. Let the head be really heavy and holding onto the elbows and you can sway, bringing some gentle movement into the spine. So letting the head be really heavy so you can even tuck the head slightly. The crown is shining towards the earth. Or just be still. Rolling up the spine, so releasing the arms, curling the tailbone between the legs, drawing the belly up. Keeping the chin towards the chest. Exhale as you rise up. And then the head comes up last. Just being really mindful here because we haven't been on the floor for a while. Fountain, which is a really soothing 
movement from Qigong. So the feet are wide and we simply draw the backs of the hands together or close to without touching but they draw together the glide up the middle of the body and then the palms turn back out just like a fountain we circle down so let's just go through that backs of the hands together draw up the body about to chest height and then let the hands just go out to the sides like a fountain rotating from the elbows and start to bring the head, so tuck the chin as you glide up through the centre of the body. Palms face out and just rolling, undulating the spine. Going in your own time, maybe even slower than I am. Now we're going to reverse the circles. So they come in, our hands go in, and then it's like you're diving down into the center. Follow your hands with your head and then bring them back up. Breathe with the movement. So breathe in, and then as the hands dive into the center, breathe out. Look down towards the belly button. Turn your focus inward. Inhale. Exhale, dive down the center, looking down and in, and just letting the hands come out to the sides. Another move in Qigong. Let's just take one hand over the lower belly. The other one circles out to the side, slowly circling. Once we get to the center, draw down. So we go down the front of the head face, the heart, and once we get to the belly, we swap hands, circle out to the side, inhaling, once you get to the center and you feel like you're going to exhale, start to draw the hand down, slicing right down the center, front of the face, the heart, and the belly and then swap hands. Down the front of the face. The hand is nice and straight. Right down the center. Once you get to the lower belly, swap hands. And on your inhale, Bring the hand up, moving with the breath. Breath leads the body. Once you get to the center, then your exhale begins. Slice down the center. And whenever you're finished, bring the hands both on the belly. Going to do it with the hands together at the same time. So inhale, circle. Inhale, not extending too far. Pause at the top and when you feel your exhale, turn the palms so they face towards the earth and come down, draw down. Palms are flat past the face. chest, down the belly and we'll do two more of that in your own time.
see if you can go even slower. Really noticing the feet against the earth, your palms. Move even slower. Drawing all that energy, drawing all yourself back into your center. Once you're finished, the hands simply go back over the belly, one on top of the other of the lower belly. And just close your eyes here for a moment and just notice. See if you can sink the mind down into the lower belly. Can you drop it down where the hands meet the belly? Just breathing into this area for a moment. Long, deep exhalations. Releasing the hands, coming back down to the floor really mindfully and slowly, coming into pigeon. So you take one leg, you're going to do the right leg. Take the knee behind the hand and the foot behind the other hand. But this is a restoring. So just keep it nice and close to the body if that feels good. And the other leg is stretched out long behind you. Maybe you can put a cushion underneath the buttocks here if you're sitting up really high or a block just to support you, support you there and bring the earth up to meet you. Once you've found your position, if it's intense, just stay up tall. But if it feels nice, come down to the elbows. If you're on the elbows, you drop the head like in Sphinx and melt yourself over the legs. You can even melt the upper body all the way down to the ground. Head resting on the wrists, the arms. And sending the breath into the hip, using that long, deep, Exhalation. If this becomes really intense, just back off. Just take the pressure off and come out a little. Your body is going to open up naturally, but that takes time. So start where you can just feel sensation and stay there. And deepen the breath in that position. And if pigeon isn't available to you, just lying on the back, coming the legs outstretched. Coming out. Let's just take both legs out to the front and just wind, windscreen right, the knees side to side. And if pigeon is too much, you can just have the feet out to the sides like this. 
that you can put pillows up underneath underneath so even if the legs are here that's fine just have some support and you can either stay upright or roll over so that's your option if pigeon isn't available or it's too intense at this time but the other leg if you're coming into pigeon take the knee behind one hand and the angle behind the other but you can draw the foot in towards the groin for a less intense and more restoring have a look at the back leg if it's nice and long. I'm just pausing here if this is intense. Staying here or maybe coming into butterfly. And having that support underneath a pillar or a cushion to bring the floor to meet you. Otherwise beginning to drape the body over the leg to the elbows, drop the head and staying here or continuing your journey down, pressing the head on the arms, breathing those deep, long exhalations into the hip. beginning to come back up. Hands on the floor, pressing into the hands to come back up. And just taking the legs behind you. And if you're in butterfly, just coming to join us now on all fours. So maybe moving the hips side to side, or stretching the leg back. The other leg. Any movement that feels good after pigeon. And coming to sit back and grabbing some pillows, grabbing some cushions or a bolster. We're just going to have them underneath our knees here. Sitting up nice and tall, coming into a forward bend. So if you don't feel like using the cushions, please feel free to not. But I find it's a lot more restoring and a lot more relaxing and I can let go even deeper when I use the bolster or pillows. So just shuffling the sit bones back behind you. And the thighs, they're going to meet the chest as much as possible. So even come up more, we'll straighten out our heels on the ground. And we're just going to walk our hands towards our feet first. So you're trying to get the belly along the thighs to meet the thighs first. So really getting some length out of the lower back, out of the waist first. And once you have that length, from here you fold over. So find where it feels nice for the, for the hands to land. As you rest your head between the knees, dropping the head, maybe even having a pillow that your head can rest on or cross your arms. And just pausing first, as soon as you feel some sensation, and just breathe. Those deep exhalations. And let the body open up for you.
by using the breath and time and gravity. Starting to move by pressing the hands into the floor, the pillow, and let the head be last to come up. So really slowly and gently unravel yourself. Keep this inward kind of feeling. The eyes can stay closed. I'll walk you through it. You need to lower all the way onto the ground. So keep the cushions where they are, but lowering all the way down to lie on the back. Just draw the knees into the chest once more. Really gentle cycles one way and then the other way. Just finding ourselves back where we started. Maybe just drawing the knees in. Just noticing what happens on a long, deep, exhalation the knees can spread to the sides and when you're ready we're going to extend the legs long for savasana but we keep the cushion the bolster the pillows underneath the knees Extend the legs long. This is a lot more gentle for our lower back here. A little bit more restoring. So pillow under the knees. Keep the legs wide. Let the feet fall out to the sides. Long spine. Long neck. Back of the head. Melts into the ground. Arms wide out to the sides. Palms facing up. Or they can be on the belly. Have them land on the belly. Rest here. And just notice how the floor, the earth, supports you. How it rises up to meet the places of your body. So your body can just melt and let go. Can let go into the floor. Melting every muscle. Softening every bone. Tension to strips out of the forehead. The eyebrows soften. Our eyes, our eye sockets. Our nostrils and mouth and jaw. Just let go.
feel free to stay here on breath. Otherwise, bringing some movement back into the fingers, back into the toes, circling the wrists, bringing the arms up ahead for a light stretch, and rolling onto one side. Pausing here for a moment on the side. Just noticing the effects of slowing down, being gentle, of just being with your body and your breath. And how that affects your mind. Being grateful for the opportunity to slow down and just be. Pressing into the hands and coming to a sitting position. <coughs> Taking the hands to the knees, hands to prayer, or hands over heart. This was a yin practice. 